What's up everybody, welcome back to Swanky Disc Golf. Today we are counting down the top five discs in the world according to disc golfers. Let's jump right in. So we're gonna start out with a couple of honorable mentions. Just so you guys know, the way we did this was we actually created a YouTube community post over on our community page and asked you guys what you thought the best disc in the world is. Now, of course, all discs are different and this is all subjective. The best disc really is just the disc that works for you. Uh, but we're here to have fun, create some conversation and maybe introduce you guys to some new discs. Uh, and so after we asked everybody what their favorite discs were, we took the top five most commented discs and put them in a poll. And that poll then got over 3,000 votes. So a couple of discs that just barely missed the top five to make it into the poll were the Innova Wraith, the Innova Firebird, the Innova Mako 3, Innova just sweeping, uh, and also the Emac Truth all got a lot of comments across the YouTube community post. We also asked our Instagram and Facebook followers, but these ones missed the vote, missed the poll by just a little bit. If you would like to be included in those, don't forget to subscribe and you can follow us on Instagram or Facebook. Coming in at number five on the poll, we have the Casaplast Berg. Yes, it made it in. The crazy bird cultists voted it up to the number five slot. I would like to clear the air and say I don't hate the bird. I will openly openly admit that the bird flies great. Its numbers are 1102. It's a very unique disc, and I think that's why a lot of people like it. It does things that most other discs don't do. It's a really great disc for risky runs where there's like a back uh, slope or there's water behind the basket. It's it's really slow. It wants to live in the ground, and it honestly flies really nice. I personally just do not like the hand feel of it, uh, and that makes me shunned by the Berg Army, but it's a, it's a great disc, it really is. I personally don't like it, but that's okay. If you're a Berg fan out there, I, you know, I love you, and it's a great disc. Coming in at number four with 12% of the vote, we have the Innova Rock. Now the Innova Rock is, a, is an OG overstable mid-range, its numbers are 4403. People have been throwing the rock for a very long time and they will continue to throw the rock for a very long time. It's easy to throw, it beats in really well, it beats into an almost straight flying disc if, once you've had it you know, for a couple years. But it's a fantastic disc out of Innova uh, and like I said it's one of the OGs, you know they have the Rock 3, the Rock X3 which those also got quite a few votes but not nearly as many as just a ton of people were saying like you just can't go wrong with a Rock and that's why it is number 4 on the list. Moving on to number 3 on the list we have the Innova Destroyer. It got 15% of the vote, its numbers are 12, 5, negative 1, 3. Uh, and this is just the original overstable distance driver. It's another disc out of Innova where there's just nothing wrong with it. Every other overstable distance driver out there is just compared to the Destroyer. People will say, oh, it's like a Destroyer. Oh, it's a little bit less stable of a Destroyer. Uh, the Destroyer is the original. It's the classic. It is an amazing, amazing feeling disc, flying disc. Uh, it also comes in really cool plastics like the Halo plastic out of Innova is so incredible. Star plastic, champion plastic, I honestly can't say enough about it. The Destroyer coming in at number three. Coming down to the wire, we have number two on our list. I want to emphasize that yes, all of these discs are just completely different, but we wanted to know what is just the staple best disc in the world? What is the best at what it is made to do? And coming in at number two with a ton of comments, we have the Discraft Zone. The Discraft Zone got 21% of the votes on the poll and it is just a classic overstable approach disc. Uh, and I think the reason it got voted up so high, its numbers are 4303. I think the reason it got voted up so high is because no matter what course you're at, whether it's a big bomber course or a tight wooded course or a short nine hole course, you're always going to be bringing that consistent overstable approach disc with you. I think if there's one disc probably that is bagged in every single pros bag, it's an overstable approach disc because they're just reliable. They're a staple disc to so many players and I think the zone is just the all encompassing quintessential overstable approach disc. Uh, when, I, when a lot of people think of overstable approach discs, a lot of things come to mind, but I think According to you guys, the majority think of the zone. So that's the zone coming in at number two on the list. And now we have come to the number one disc on the planet according to disc golfers. Like I said, these are not our picks. 
Please don't shoot the messenger in the comments, and if you do, do so constructively. Before we jump into number one, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to the channel, especially if you want to be involved in videos like this with the polls and everything. I encourage you guys to check and make sure you're subscribed. And also, if you would like to help support us and the channel, you can consider hitting the join button down below and join the Swanky team for just 99 cents a month, and you get access to a ton of exclusive content stickers, t-shirts, emotes, and badges that you can use in the comments down below. A lot goes on over there and that's kind of our core group that we communicate with. They help us make videos. It's a really cool thing and it helps us out a ton. So consider hitting the join button. And now for the number one disc on the planet according to disc golfers we have you might have guessed it, the Discraft Buzz. I do swear that this is a buzz. I just wiped the stamp because I think it looks cool. The buzz got 43% of our vote. Like I said, over 3,000 people voted uh, and almost half of them said the Discraft Buzz. The numbers on the buzz are 54, negative 11, uh, which puts it at a 0.5 on the Discraft stability scale. And it is just a no frills, straightforward, mid-range that flies super straight. It has really nice glide. It's everything you want and more. It is a one disc round disc. If you haven't seen Drew Gibson throw a buzz 500 feet, you're missing out. Uh, you just kind of, this disc can do almost everything. It is just the classic straight flying mid-range. Like I said, uh, some other mid-ranges that just barely miss the list that might be similar are the Mako 3, the Truth, but the overwhelming majority of comments that we got for the top five discs in the world is the Discraft Buzz. So yeah guys, that is the number one disc on the list. Uh, let us know what you think below. What did we miss? What is your favorite disc that you're bagging right now? Uh, and like I said, be sure to subscribe. We will see you in the next one. Stay swanky.